bad one. She a bad one. That's right. I forgot. She a bad one. Let the power go back to the white people. We as black people, we just have to accept that we failed dismally. For 28 years, we were given chance to prove ourselves and we failed dismally. This thing of voting one black person after the other, it won't help us with anything. Let power go back to white people. When white people were governing this country, irrespective of whatever that they were doing, but our parents were working. Kids used to get buzzers to go to universities. Town used to be clean. There was job everywhere. You apply, you get a job. Even if you didn't have qualifications, you could work in hotels, you could work wherever. You could work even in the in the in the farms. There were farms where people could work. Black people are a dismal, dismal failure. They can't govern. Let the power go back to white people. Let us just swallow our pride and give this white people power back so that the country can go back to normal. We have to accept that. We really, really respect people who fought for our for, for, for the liberation. We respect them and we will still going to respect them. But at the end of the day, we just have to take this power back to the white people. We are tired. South Africa is a mess. Everywhere you go, it's a mess. We are tired. We accept we failed. Black people cannot rule. Black people cannot govern. White people should take over this country so that this country can have dignity back. All these things that are happening in our country, they will never happen again. This problem of foreigners, this problem of crime, it won't be there anymore. White people, they don't play. They don't play. They rule. They govern. The police, white police, they don't play with criminals. They don't play with uh, uh, undocumented people in the country. I cannot believe what I just heard. Come home, white man. Did you I, see I, the show last night? The end of it? I did not see the show last night. I seen a couple parts of it, though. I've been playing some parts of it. I, I just can't believe what I heard. Well, uh, Cook County, it takes a white man to tame a nigga. I guess you so. Got a, you got a lot of noise in the background, done. I'm watching the you turn. turn sorry. Yeah, you got to turn mute that shit, man. Having the uh, power turned off 12 hours a day, I do that too, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's, I'm, it's, it's, I'm, it's, I'm in shock right now. I'm dead serious. Everyone okay. in here, I'm in shock. I cannot believe what I just heard. Go you back know, and watch the end of last night's show. I th I think we need to. It's um, rough over there, Jack. I think I think we need to um get this you know all over the place now. Just what she. She's been watching your show, Ot. She definitely has. It's rough over there, man. They 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 got it. They got it bad, my G. Okay, it's 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 rolling blackouts. Um, the power grid is all fucked up. Electricity. Um, we'll get to that a little later, but that, that, that that lady um is speaking nothing but but what it is, man. It, it is it is what it is. When, when someone when someone talks like that, they're fed up because black people don't usually talk like that. You know what I'm saying? We'll never say just um, swallow your pride and shit like that. It just let the white people come back and govern. Nah, it's bad over there, man. Do they even want to? Because I, I wouldn't, to be honest. That's a whole mess to clean up, bro. I know. I did see parts of the stream, and I did see parts when you guys were talking in the South, like South African segment of it. I don't even know if I would want to come back and go fix that shit. Yeah, I mean it, it's rough over there. They, they, they literally. Um, let me just show you. Um, salute to everybody in the building, man. We're gonna get into the um, all these mass shootings happening in uh, Blackistan. Just imagine yeah. a whole nuclear power plant run by sunmen. <laughs> 
South Africa is in the grip of an electricity shortage. The state power company ESCOM recently implemented what it calls stage six of power cuts, or load shedding as they call it locally. But even at stage six, many South Africans are without power for up to 10 hours a day. And the country's hospitals are not exempt from the power cuts. My next guest, a physician, has decided to do something about that. Professor Adam uh, Mahomud joins me now from Johannesburg. Welcome to DW News Africa, Dr. Mahomud. Uh, can you tell us how ESCOM's load shedding affects the work you do and what that means for the patients you're treating? Thank you so much for having me on your show. So I think the various stages of load shedding have various impacts. And now we're currently sitting at stage five, almost touched stage six and worried about even impending disaster. So an example of my hospital when you have load shedding is the computers go off, the CT scans go off and every takes, everything takes a little while to restart. Could you imagine you in the middle of surgery and all the fucking power in the hospital goes off? All the monitors and the goddamn. Oh my god. It's the perils of Sunistan for real over there. You would yeah. think they would have a generator to all the funding they get from various countries. That's probably why all those extraneous things go off for the main life support stuff to stay on. They probably do have a generator. Yeah. It doesn't work though. <laughs> That's another story. It is crazy man i mean that is terrifying man that is uh, uh, let's see this south african power cuts worsened this week as struggling state utility escom said it would extend its worst ever outages until further notice the government announced on thursday that it will take on a portion of escom's debt the utility company has been mired in financial crisis for years and is dependent on government bailouts. The National Treasury said at October's midterm budget that it could take on between one third and two thirds of ESCOM's over $23 billion debt to try to make the company financially viable. The stage six power cuts mean six to eight hours a day without power for most South Africans and require up to 6,000 megawatts of capacity to be shed from the national grid. They are a major source of public frustration with the governing African National Congress party. Its support among voters is sliding. The power cuts are also a break on economic growth in Africa's most industrialized nation. ESCOM supplies the vast majority of South Africa's electricity, relying mainly on an aging fleet of coal-fired power stations that are unreliable and prone to faults. The country witnessed more than 200 days of power cuts in 2022, and the situation could get even worse in 2023. Since... <sighs> yeah. I bet you um, all the gliders, they probably got their own generators, so they're probably not affected as much. <laughs> yeah, well, otherwise it would be, like be like... Purge. Oh, for nearly all yeah, of let's that. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see them talk to some of these gliders and see if that's the case, man. Because some of these gliders, let's see what this they say. School or go to work um, places. I think North Riding has been one of the hardest hit areas with load shading. Uh, so not only have we been hit with 12 hours, 12 to 14 hours a day, but when load shading ends, we basically don't have power coming back on. Our substations trip. They can't handle the load shedding and we've asked numerous times if you know the area cannot handle load shedding and it's going to trip then can you not remove the area but we just get shut down we get ignored nothing happens about it and the thing is that like i for one have a special needs son and when there's medication that's needed if things need to happen and our batteries are running out there's nothing we can do. Then you've got to scramble around trying to get decent care. If I don't work, I don't get paid. So may, m most of the time I don't have internet. By the time I do have internet, which is maybe <laughs> four hours through the night, I don't work through the night. And um, it's not only that, it's, it, it affects everything. It affects your, you buying supplies because you, 
you can't store your your um, meat and whatever you know you put in your freezer. Everything's going to ruin. The amount of waste is diabolical. What happens when there's no pump, no electricity to pump the water that we need? What's going to happen then into the reservoirs? What's going to happen? And Some here's the problem: be knocking uh, at your door, are... taking your water. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why don't that I don't understand why don't they just leave. I mean, we have white flight here. Why don't they have white flight there? It's only five percent white people in the whole country. It's five percent well, too many. <laughs> they built that country though, that's theirs. Delson Mandela was a fraud too. That's hey, what people they built they built neighbors they, they built these neighborhoods here too. They left. They built infrastructure all over Africa, which is slowly being eroded and destroyed. Yeah. It's always been bad in Africa, though. They uh, <laughs> went there to get rubber and all Pirelli tires and Michelin and stuff, really. Yeah, I mean, it's always been bad in Africa is an understatement. Man. <laughs> do you, do you, do you know what our, as, as news anchors? I'm surprised. Do you know what Arania is, Ak? Arania? Yeah, you know what that is? No. You should look that up. What does it it's say? What how you spell it? O R A N I A. You got a lot of feedback. Though. Somebody got a lot of feedback. O R A N I A. Yes, sir. The controversial whites only. <laughs> oh God! Jesus. Click God. click that third video. This one. Yeah. The third one. Do I hear this guy? Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so it's Afrikaners who are welcome here, yeah. not other races. It's Afrikaners specifically. Okay. Everybody who is an Afrikaner or identify as an Afrikaner. That's the weird thing about this ideology. You basically want to make an ethno state, a state where only your ethnic group and culture can actually live. Oh, wait, never mind. I didn't know it was this dude. You're also just saying, oh, no, only my people. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I thought it was the original. Yeah, from South Africa. Wow. So in Orania, it's in Orania. So they, you know, you the guy. The guy was saying that the the gliders need to leave. Well, these gliders did, and they formed.